If you are a designer or if you're working closely with a design team, then you should probably know that giving and receiving feedback is a fundamental part of the design process. But let's be honest, it's not always that easy, especially when there are egos involved because no one likes to feel that their work isn't good enough after all. Hello everybody, I am Fontini from File Stage, and in this video we are going to talk about how to ask for and how to give constructive design feedback. Are you ready? Let's go! You should always start by letting your reviewers know why you're asking for feedback. Do you want to verify a specific part of the design? Or if you're happy with the final outcome and you just want to get their approval, simply let them know. It's really, really important for them to know what do they have to review. You should ask questions about specific parts of your design to keep things focused. This can also work to prevent your reviewers from providing feedback on parts of the design that you are already set with. You can even create a design feedback form with specific questions to ensure that the feedback is as targeted and valuable as possible. The second thing that you should consider is giving your reviewers an easy way to share their feedback. And wait a second before you say email or any other messaging platform and just think. Think how hard it will be for them to fully explain themselves. Screenshots, long descriptions, photos of drawings that they made to illustrate specific part of the design that they want to change, it can get really, really confusing. File stage can help you here. In our platform, your reviewers can share their feedback in a clear and easy way. Here's how. In context comments, tap anywhere on the file to leave a comment in real time. Annotations. Drawn videos, images, and documents to bring comments to life. Attachments. Attach files to your comments to share references, company logos, and anything else your team may need. If you aren't sure what a comment means or you need a little more guidance, File Stage makes it easy to follow up and collaborate. An extra tip here avoid getting defensive or trying to explain yourself. You should focus instead on fully understanding the feedback that has been shared with you so you can progress with your design. And now that we covered the part of how to ask for design feedback, let's talk about how you should give constructive feedback. Here are the four most important elements of a good design feedback. Let's go over them one by one. Strike a good balance between positive and constructive feedback and simply start by pointing out the positive things that you liked about the design. This will help to put your designer at ease and make them more receptive to the next feedback point. This is a good example to follow. Number two, keep it objective. Take the time to refer back to the feedback and point out parts of the design that are slightly and objectively off the mark. For example, another important thing that you should always keep in mind is that you have to be as clear and collaborative as possible. What does that mean? No comments like, mm, I don't really feel it or that looks a little bit weird. No. This is a no. Your designers are not gonna get help and understand what you have in mind if you share feedback like this. Always remember that this is a collaborative project and you are all working together towards the same goal. So be as precise as possible. And one last extra tip that I am sure your designers are gonna love it, be exhaustive. What does that mean? Some of the reviewers usually have the habit of pointing out one or two things per review round. And this is something that you would like to avoid. Take the time to review the design in detail. This will help to minimize the amount of review rounds needed. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a comment below and share with us your feedback tips. Bye!